let's bake some snowballs. I don't have snow here in Texas, so I have to use these fake snowballs for my snowball fights. But I've recently come across a recipe from Germany that I have never heard of before. A friend from the gym, she told me about it. It was a specialty that she had when she visited Germany. It's from Rotenburg op der Tauber, which is a place somewhere in the south of Germany. And they have a very regional specific thing that is called Schneeball, snowball. And it's a really funny recipe. I've, I'm, I was really surprised uh, what they are doing there. And it's yeah something you should definitely take a look at. snowballs I make a quick dough it's not difficult it's just 500 gram of flour and to that I add two eggs and two egg yolks and in the original recipe that I found on the internet uh, I have to use some Cream fraiche, but I figured out that it works just as fine if I use sour cream. So that's 250 gram of sour cream. And also 100 gram of butter. And I forgot to take it out of the fridge earlier today, so I had to put it in the microwave. That's why it is so soggy. Um, then also I need something that is called Kirschwasser, which is a certain kind of schnapps and I don't have that and I'm not willing to buy it since I usually don't use it. Um, instead I'm using something that I found in my pantry, it's Grand Market, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. And um, I used it last time too and it worked just perfectly. It's two tablespoons of that and it goes right in here. And then I knead it to a dough and then I will put it into the fridge for an hour. I just noticed that I forgot to add the pinch of salt. That's kind of important to give it a better taste. There's actually no sugar or powdered um, baking powder in it. Um, but. You will find out why that is later. Okay, so here's my dough. And I will put it in the fridge for an hour now. And then I will proceed and show you what I'm doing with this dough. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. Here's my dough, it was in the fridge for an hour and I will quickly knead it a little bit. Okay. And then I have to portion it. I want it to be a little more smooth than it's right now, so I can roll it a little better. Okay, um, I will now try to portion it kind of evenly. Eye measurement this time. Okay. So I take some of the dough and I shape a little sphere and, space. and now I will roll this very thin while at the same time next to me the oil is getting hot and I heat the oil to 350 degree, not hotter than that. Try to give this a somewhat 
round shape. One more here. Yeah, it's somewhat round. Okay, so now I cut these thin stripes, but I don't cut all the way through. I let a distance to the outer rim of this dough. Just like this. And you can also just use a knife for it. Now I take every second of these stripes Okay, and I just twist this whole thing somewhat. And now I put it on this spoon, slotted spoon, and I take a second one just to keep the shape. And I put it into the hot oil. And I let it a little bit of a space here. I don't press it together. I want it to be able to expand. And I try to keep the shape somewhat round. Since I don't have the right tools that they had at the original bakery, I have to improvise a little bit with my two spoons. Okay. I think I got it somewhat in the sphere kind of snowball shape. And this will be in the oil, in the frying oil for five minutes. And then I'll take it out and let it cool. So right now I would say these look rather than yarn balls than like snow walls. So we probably have to change the color. So in order to make some snowballs, we need some confectioner's sugar. And I, <clears throat> I don't really have a recipe for that. It's something that I do since a very long time, just from experience. Just add some water to some confectioner's sugar and I also will add a tiny little bit of imitation rum. You can use any kind of um, imitation rum or some vanilla or some lemon. Lemon might be quite delicious too. Okay, a little more water. And if you have too much water, which easily happens, then you just add a little more of the confectioner's sugar. And I want this to be rather liquid, so that it's easier to roll the snowballs in it. And I've heard that in that bakery they fill it with all kind of things like egg liquor and of course chocolate. So there are more options than just having a glaze. Okay, so this looks already very nice. And let me take one of the smaller ones first. And I want to cover it with just a lot of this. And I go all around. I want to cover it everywhere. Also on the inside. Okay. And I take it out. Let it drip a little. And then I put it back on here. And 
let it dry. Okay, so here's the next one. This is really large. 